Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. But if you're getting this error while installing BlueStacks, you're getting this BlueStacks error 2004, something went wrong. This is, for most of us, this reason comes when we have less storage, or if there is a corruption in the windows, or there are a lot of junk there in the computer. So the very first thing here is to click on the search icon and type CMD. And then click on run as administrator and it will ask you to say yes and here we are going to run a command called sfc space forward slash and now now this will fix if there is a corruption in your windows and hit enter i'll mention these commands in the description box so that you can copy it and paste it right here once the scan is done please make sure you do the restart or you can do that restart once you're done with all the steps right so i'll close this and i'll tell you the different the next command which you need to run is the dism cleanup image scan health and then you need to run dism restore home and it is the same it is very easy to do so let's copy it from the description search here run as administrator and then paste it like this dism space online space cleanup image scan health and hit enter this will begin the system scan again and this will fix if there is a corruption any kind of bug is there in the computer that will be fixed once this is done we need to remove all cache and junk from the computer and for that just do a right click in the start icon and click on run and type clean mgr I'll tell you clean MGR. Let me just show that again. Clean MGR. All right. So once you click on OK, a new window will appear like this. Just clean up utility drive selection. So select your C drive where the operating system is installed. Check mark all the options here. And these are all junk and unnecessary files. You do not require these. So you can simply click on OK after checking mark and it will clean up the junk from your computer. So what we have done so far, we have repaired the computer with three commands. We have done the scan and we have cleaned up the junk. And now what we need to do is to check for the security software as well. So if you are using a third party security software, you just need to go here at the top right corner, at the bottom right corner. Just let's say if this is a third party software, just do the right click on that and then disable it. So here you will, once you will do the right click, you will find an option to disable it. And if you're using the Windows security, then you can simply double click on that virus and threat protection. And under virus and threat protection settings, go to manage settings, turn off this real time protection. All right, and then try to install the software. So basically, it doesn't come with the Windows security issues. If you're using Kaspersky, Norton, or any other antivirus program, that may, you know, block the blue stacks to install. So basically, 2004 error comes when any security software is blocking that installation. All right, so you can also try that. Make sure you disable the real time protection, be it any security. And once it is installed, then you can turn it on again. All right. And once this is done, if you still have issues, what you can do is you can create a new user account. Or if you have a different user account, like an administrator account, you can log in with that. And this will also fix the problem. All right. And one more important part is to install the all the latest updates. Do a right click in the start icon, go to settings and at the left hand side where we see the Windows updates, please make sure that you install all the updates, whether you're using Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11. Ensure you have all the latest update there in your computer and you are up to date. Once you're done, restart the computer and then try to install blue stacks and i'm sure you will be able to download and install it so guys if this tutorial is helpful please hit the like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section 
if I have helped you. All right, I really need your support. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care.